आज मैं आज सुबह वो एक नोट लेके आया था कि मैं सो मोटो स्टेटमेंट इस सभागृह में करूंगा और मैं चाहता था कि एक ऐसा माहौल पैदा हो गया था आपके नेतृत्व में बैठक होगी विरोधी दल की नेता ने भी कहा था कि हम सब मिल के सहयोग देंगे और चिंता ये हमारे सामने थी कि कहीं ये प्रश्न है टेररिज्म का प्रश्न है नेक्सलाइट का प्रश्न है ये केवल एक को हमारे को छुटकारा दे के कुछ फायदा नहीं होगा हम सबको इसमें सहयोग देने का काम करना होगा ये कोई मैं इसी के लिए कहा कि सुबह कि ये सदन सबका सदन है और इसी के लिए मैं अभी भी कहूँगा कि हम इस तरह का संदेश दे दें इस देश में कि हम सब चाहते हैं कि शांति से इस देश में सभी धर्म के जाति के लोग रह जाए और भारत का नाम विश्व में ऊंचा कर यही प्रार्थना हम करते हैं और मैं मैं यही कहूंगा कि मैं जो सो वोटो स्टेटमेंट के लिए जो नोट लाया था उसमें मेरा पूरा डिटेल्स दिया है वही मैं आपसे बताऊंगा महोदया कि ऑनरेबल स्पीकर इट इज विद द डीप सेंस ऑफ एंग्विश I speak about the unfortunate incidents of violence which took place which took place in Kokrajhar, Chirang, Dubri, and Gongayagao districts in Assam from July 6th, 6th July to uh, till today. As per report received from the government of Assam, there was simmering tension between Bodo and non-Bodo communities of Bodo land terrorist area district. which is called BTED uh, on various socio political issues the background of the recent spate of violence may be attributed to the incidents which took place mainly between 6 July uh, to 9th and 20th July 2012 a on July 6 2012 the kamatpura liberation organization terrorist fire indiscriminately at the muslim pura gao under gosai gao police station killing two persons belonging to muslim community and injuring three persons one klo terrorist was arrested in connection with the case registered in regard, this regard though this was communicated to the muslim people of the area it was not believed by them that they strongly suspected the hand of Bodo miscreants in the incidents. On July 19, unknown motorcycle bone miscreants fire indiscriminately in front of the residence of Mahibul Haq, the alias Ratul and Muhammad Abu Siddiqui, both of uh, village Magurmari and the office bearers of All Bodo Land Muslim Students Union (ABMSU). thereby injuring them seriously see on july 28 at around 8:25 pm four bodo youth while coming from the bhatipura side towards the kokrajhar on two motorcycles at jaipur under kokrajhar police station were attacked by some unidentified muslim youth with sharp weapons as a result of which they died on the spot the communal incident started in full swing after this particular incidents of killing of four boro youth initially the incidents were concentrated in kokrajhar district but later on due to band call given by abmsu and all assam muslim students union that is aamsu on july 23 12 the tension spread to the adjoining district of dubri and chirang as well the further violence again took place in the district of kokrajhar and chirang on 5th and 6th august 12 resulting a death of eight person and injury to two persons on the third on three no major incidents of violence was reported between 24 july 12 to 4th august 12 a fresh violence was reported on 5th and 6th august in kokrajhar and chirang district resulting in death of eight person and injuries of two persons 
As on 6th August uh, 12, the violence has taken a toll of 73 lives with another 50 injured, including four poli 14 police personnel and seven missing, affecting 244 villages and uh, 47,936 families, 5,367 houses as per the preliminary reports so far. The state government has set up 340 relief camps for affected families. As soon as my ministry came to know about the disturbances in Assam, 14 additional companies of CAPF were immediately rushed as against 10 demanded by the state. The additional forces continued to get deployed on a daily basis till the number of additional companies reached 65 of some of these companies were airlifted. The cabinet secretary took a meeting and a team of doctors were sent to the affected areas. And the National Disaster Response Force has been deployed to assist the district administration. The Kokrajhar in relief operation, the flag march by the uh, army and patrolling by Assam police and the Central Armed Forces is continuing in the affected areas. Over 170 persons indulging in violence and arson have been arrested so far by security forces. 309 cases have been registered in connection with the ethnic violence. A special investigation team with the ADGP uh, from CID as well all, all over in charge has been constituted to investigate six important cases. A comprehensive security plan has been checked out to provide full-proof security to the affected population. 104 fixed police pockets have been proposed in vulnerable villages of 99 have been already established. They have been given responsibility of ensuring security for affected villages. A number of civil and police officers have been deputed from other districts to assist the district administration in maintenance of law and order, the relief operation and other related issues. The senior officers have also been deputed from the state headquarters to supervise the relief operation. The state government has been providing minimum basic amenities to the relief camp inmates, including Gratuitous, gratuitous relief, the health sanitation, food materials, rice, dal, mustard oil, and salt, including baby food, clothes for the adults, the lungis, saris, and kamchas, and the children dress, candle. Padhi, padhi, bataunga. Ek ek baar mera statement hone dijiye. Ek baar mera statement hone dijiye, fir bataunga. The candle, soap, mosquito repellent coils, the toothpaste, tarpaulin, medical facilities, drinking water, etc., have been provided to the relief camps and inmates. The adequate ex gratia grant and the rehabilitation grant will be provided to the persons affected by the violence. The present status of the relief and rehabilitation measures indicates that during the peak time, 340 relief camps were established with over 4,000, uh, 480,000 inmates. As on August 6, 2012, the 245 relief camps with uh, 3,000, uh, 3,64,000 inmates are running as on today, and 95 relief camps have been closed and over 1,15,000 persons have returned to their villages. The Honorable Prime Minister and my predecessor visited violence affected areas on 28th July and 38th and 31st July 12, respectively. I'm close, and now I'm closely monitoring the security situation in Assam. The government strongly condemns the act of depredation in Assam. The leaders of both the communities have been requested to intervene in the matters of restoration and normalcy in the area. 
the central government is providing all possible assistance to the government of Assam to control the violence and rehabilitation and affected families. Uh, I said the date, you see, the 73, but uh, I have uh, further information. One more decomposed dead body was recovered in Kokrajhar district on 7th. Uh, I, yesterday I spoke to Chief Minister and uh, took a review of the situation. Uh, now, you see, uh, that he had suggested that the CBI team should be saved. The CBI will take over a certain cases wherein a conspiracy seems to be involved for investigation. For this purpose, the additional director, CBI, Joint Secretary, Northeast MHA, are being deputed to Gohati tomorrow, that is 9th August. I must tell you, Madam Speaker, that not only that, but I had since I yesterday talked to the uh, Chief Minister, if and I, every after three, four hours I have been talking, and if the situation arises, I have kept the army alert now, and if the situation arises, government will not dare to take action to that particular, yes, because it should not also happen. The, the army should go in the area where there is uh, nothing and do action unknowingly or knowingly. Army should go and bring, you see, the, the result in the areas where actually it is affected. Sir, I must... Uh, and, and as uh, OSCG and OSCG had uh, uh, met me yesterday, and after he gave me the two camps' name, I already uh, uh, I have already instructed uh, my um, department, and immediately my secretary home has talked to the person concerned, and I think by now their the situation must have been improved. And if there is anything, anybody, if there is from today, you see. I will see that if anything is lacking, I will certainly take correction on this. Madam, the, this government is very clear in our mind. You see, we do not want it to hide anything. And that's the reason I wanted to bring it to your notice tomorrow, today, so much a, 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 a statement. Because the government, the, whether you see, it comes through adjournment motion or so much a, 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 a statement, Madam, the, with this, you see, the government's mind is very clear, government heart is very clear, and we would like to have, you see, a situation, a peaceful situation in this country. Thank you.